Okay, today we will be learning about some basic charts. Okay, so here we go. First of all, what we need to do anything? All of you. Upload the data. Correct. So uh, you should go to get data. You can uh, uh, input your data here. Uh, if it is an Excel sheet, you can use this option directly or you can use this option or in fields also, there is an option called get data. Okay, you can use any option to put your data in Power BI. Okay, so I'm simply going with this option itself. Okay, connect. Not this one. Wait a second. So always remember you have to put this check mark on then only you will be able to load or transform it. Okay. So I'm marking this checkbox. Then only this particular buttons are getting highlighted, right? Otherwise it is locked. So since it's a clean data, I'm directly loading it. Otherwise you should transform it. Okay, now it is loaded over here and this is the name of the table. If you want to rename it, you can do that. The, since it is a data related to Zomato restaurants, I'm renaming it as Zomato. Okay. So when you will click on the drop down, you can find the column names, whichever columns are there in the data set. Okay. These are the views in Power BI. Whenever interviewer asks you a question, what are the views? What are different views in Power BI? You should say report view, okay, data view, and model view. In report view, you can make some charts and uh, tables and all. In data view, you will get the entire set. Please mute your audio, whoever uh, is on unmute. Okay, so this is the data set. If multiple data sets are there, you can select them. And can... Okay, so that's it. And here comes the model that I will explain in data modeling part. Okay, so, uh, so we are having some data set. Now we need to make some charts. Today we will be discussing about some basic charts. Okay. So in the earlier class, I have told you like how to make a bar chart, right? Mm -hmm. In the bar chart, what we will do, we will put some uh, particular values in X and Y axis. Okay, if you uh, see, before that, I want to explain you something about the data set. This is the data set of Zomato, in which this column actually shows different restaurants in Zomato. Okay, right. Corresponding to these restaurants, when you will click uh, this, uh, I mean, inverted 
triangle, you will get the unique values over there. So you can see restaurants with different names. Okay. These many restaurants are there. Okay, corresponding to those restaurants, whether those restaurants are having online order facility or not. Okay, so it will be yes or no only, right? Whether facility is there or not. So only two unique values are there, no and yes. Okay, next thing is whether the particular restaurant is having book table facility or not. So here also two options are there, no and yes. Okay. And regarding votes, here you can see it ranges from 0 to 1065. Okay. So, uh, which re restaurant got how many votes? It is mentioned over here. And regarding location, that at which location this particular restaurants are. Okay. So, these are those things. Okay. So, Everything is with respect to this restaurant column. Okay. Next comes the, uh, I mean, restaurant types. Before that, I want to tell you types of restaurant. Like there are uh, seven types, cafe, delivery, desert, seven types of restaurants are there. And this rest type means it's subcategory. Okay. These are the some subcategories of type. Right. And Regarding cuisines, many uh, cuisines we already know about, right? Like South Indian, North Indian, Italian, Chinese. Whichever cuisines are available in the restaurant, it is uh, given over here, right? So that is another thing. Now, regarding cost, actually it is the cost of two, pers uh, two people's, two, I mean, um, two, uh, the, I mean uh, cost of food for two people. That is given over here. It ranges from 40 to some 6,000, I guess, yes, 6,000. So this is the data regarding restaurants in Zomato. Okay, so in order to find out various things that which particular category is having how much cost rating, we can find out with the help of graph, right? Okay, so here if you want to uh, know that what is the rating what the what impact does rating put on each and everything like regarding restaurant types okay no we will take type itself type would be okay i am putting this on x axis and i am putting this rating on y axis okay now you can see over here like delivery is having the highest rating okay when you will move your cursor over here or you will um, I mean, when you will move the cursor, you will find the some numbers are given. And they are some numbers like 40,000 something. But guys, please tell me what is the maximum rating possible when you go to any, uh, I mean, uh, e-commerce website or something like that. What is the maximum rating possible? You should five. Five, correct. So this is more than five, right? Very, very huge number. Okay. So actually what we should do, we should take the average. Then only we will get the proper number. Okay, for that what you have to do in y-axis, you right click over there. By default, sum is being choosed. That's why this huge number is coming. Okay, you have to choose average. Then it will show you within 5 only. Here you can see 3.96, 3.95, 3.85 5, like this. Okay, so in this, what happened? Delivery is the last thing. Earlier, what happened when we take, uh, we took some, in that case, delivery was on the top. Right? This happened, why, you know, because majority of restaurants are of delivery type. So that's why some was huge in case of delivery. But in case of average, it is the lowest one. Okay. So these are some things that we should take care, like which kind of variable it is. Accordingly, we should Ax, uh, analyze it okay so if you want to check out that thing like how many restaurants are uh, of that type okay i can put this um, i can take this thing uh, and i will put this type in both an x and y axis now it will show you that majority of restaurants are of delivery type okay that's why this um, i mean some was huge in case of delivery 
but in uh, but when we took average what happened delivery is having the least average okay if you want to alter it we will do it later okay one by one for each and every graph we will do the alteration later okay right now uh, see if you want to check out uh, that uh, regarding location which is having the highest rating okay so location is a huge thing so i mean uh, uh, it's a long list right when you will go to this data set and you will look over here location is a huge thing okay when we will take any pie chart or something like that i will show you see if i am taking a pie chart and i am putting this locations in legend and i am putting this rating on values then what will happen it is a clumsy chart okay so instead of it if i am taking a line chart i can slide it and see everything clearly dtm is having the highest rating okay here also by default sum is coming so what should i do I should go to rating, right click and take average. Okay, now it is showing a different graph. And here, which one is having the highest average rating? Uh, stain marks road. Restaurants at this particular location is having the highest rating. Okay, here we are checking that how rating is putting an effect on uh, different parameters, right? So uh, this is one thing. Now, uh, what I'm going to do, like, uh, let's, uh, let's take uh, some other variable, like we will take this book table, okay? Uh, see, I'm taking this donut chart, okay? And I am taking this uh, book table in legend and rating in values. And rating also, I'm making it as average. Now you can see what is the impact of um, rating, uh, uh, impact of book table in on rating, right? It will show you that uh, when there is a yes, in that case, rating is better, 4.09. When it is a no, no, then rating is comparatively less, that is 3.02. Or you can uh, take any other graph if you want. If you want donut uh, pie chart also, you can do that. Okay. It is somewhat similar. Right. And now I am going to take uh, any other chart. Let us take this funnel chart. Okay. In funnel chart, what is the thing, you know? Uh, it will show us the highest one at the top and lowest one at the bottom. Okay. Uh, if I am taking this. Uh, rating in values and online order in category you can see over here yes is the uh, i mean if online order is there then rating is huge but this is the case of uh, uh, i mean uh, sum only when i will take the average you can see over here i mean uh, rating is 3.48 in case of when online order a facility is there and when online order facility is not there then rating is 2.77 so this is called funnel chart okay we will take some other charts also so we should take other variables also in consideration like which particular uh, i mean uh, uh, which particular uh, location is having is the highest okay uh, is having the highest number of restaurants so or which particular uh, yeah we can take that locations in category okay and we are taking this location on values so this particular location is having uh, the highest number of restaurants right this is a tree map chart Okay. Instead of it, if you want to take a line chart, you can do that too. We have already used line chart, right? Yeah. So this is a tree map. Okay. So like that, many charts are over here. You can explore them one by one. We will go to map also. Okay. If you want map, we can take this map. Okay. Later, we will format all of them one by one. 
that I'm putting this legend, uh, location over here. Okay. And I'm putting the same location over legend also so that it is visible in different colors. What happened? It's not showing. Yeah, it is coming. It's getting loaded. Okay. So it is uh, showing us different locations. Now, uh, uh, see if you want to find that which one is having the highest rating based on that if bubble size, this bubble size should change. So in that you, case, you take the rating, put it in bubble size. So where rating was higher in, uh, in that particular location, bubble size will be bigger. Okay. So this is the thing. And in the same map, if you want to make some pie chart, that also can be done. Okay. So uh, we have to take location over here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, yeah. I'm taking any other variable. Like uh, I will take this book table over legend. Now you can see a pie chart. Dif two different colors are there. If uh, uh, it is not that much visible, I will take any other variable also. Like I will take type. Okay. It will show you a pie chart. So this is how you can make a pie chart in the map. Okay. So this pie chart is having a division of seven because there are seven types of restaurants available. So here only two types of restaurants were there. Okay. One is delivery type and other is dine out. And in some cases, all seven restaurants are there. So this is how we can make a pie chart in map. Okay. So we will format them one by one. You can try out some other map also. See, in this case of field map, I will take that Indian state and that will also be explained before doing the formatting. For that, I need this uh, get data. Okay, the same formatting that we have done yesterday. Now that the particular data set will also be uploaded over here. Okay, now I'm not changing the name because I just wanted to explain you about the field chart only. So this is our uh, field map only. Okay, this is our map. And if I am putting both state and legend, okay. Now you, you can see different uh, states are represented by different color. This is how we will use field map. Okay. Now there are some other uh, applications also. You please explore them. So we will uh, format this uh, charts one by one. Okay. So uh, this is the average rating corresponding to different types. So in, in order to format it, we should go to format option. Okay. Is it clear to all of you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, uh, this is your uh, yes. bar chart. Okay. You have in order to format this entire thing, what you should do? Go to format. Okay. There, uh, in x-axis, you can find some values. Values means uh, in x-axis, these are values: drink and nightlifes. Pubs and bars, dine out, these, whatever is written in the x-axis, no? they are values. So if you want to increase its size, you can do that thing. Like this, okay? Okay, now it is quite visible, right? And if you want to uh, make it bold, that also can be done. If you want to change the color, you can do that, okay? 
and this title in x axis refers to this type only this type okay if you want to change the name of it by default it is taking the column header name itself if you want to change the name you can write it as restaurant types okay This is a spelling mistake. Okay. Restaurant types. Right. Now, uh, if you want to increase its size, uh, the same way you have to do. Okay. So, this is how you can increase its size. If you want to make it bold, change its color, everything you can do. Right. And in this is y axis. And this is the, uh, I mean, uh, uh, header corresponding to y-axis. Or you can say title. Title corresponding to y-axis. So in y-axis, in values, you can change these values. Whatever is written, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay. So you, you will increase it like this. Then you can see the change. It is clearly visible. If you want to make it bold, go for it. And... Uh, now I'm going uh, to make some change on in case of title. If you want to change the font, that also can be done. Okay. There is one option called font. If you want to change it, you can do that. Okay. Like this. Same as uh, MS Office. Okay. Changing the color. Okay, if you want to change the color of, uh, uh, no, no, not changing the color. I mean, if you want to change, do some alteration regarding grid lines, very uh, light colored grid lines are there. If you want to ch change the color, that all, that you can do. Okay, if you want to make it solid, you can do that, but that will look somewhat odd. So better you go with dotted itself, dotted or dashed, whatever you are okay with. Okay. Uh, you can increase the width also that I have already told you in the earlier session, I guess. And this is the zoom slider that was also being shown. And regarding columns, you can make it on and whatever columns are there, you can choose different colors for those columns. Okay. For example, if I want to color them like this. whatever is uh, okay for you whatever color you want you can choose accordingly if you uh, if the color is not available whatever color palette is there if you're not satisfied with it you can make your own color okay that's it okay like this you can make your own color and uh, uh, regarding this chart, okay, here spacing is there or not? Okay, we uh, we forgot to put this data labels, right? If you will make it on, you can see the size. I mean, whatever values of this particular, um, I mean, um, bars are, the, it will approximate it. See, in case of 3.96, it is showing you 4 only. Actually, in case of uh, this type of bar chart, it will approximate the value. It, it will not show you the exact value in data labels. That is one problem with respect to it. Okay. If you want to increase the size. See, uh, for if you want to increase the size of all things, now you can search for it. That I will show you in this case. Okay. Uh, like how to increase size of each and everything within a single with a single search. That also you can do. Okay, so this is okay, I guess. So here I will tell you, see you search for size. I have chosen this particular uh, visual. Now I'm going to do some formatting. You write size over here. Okay, for each and everything, whatever size, size are available, it will show entire things, okay? So here uh, you can, you need not to go in each and every option and check and do uh, size alteration and all. 
you can do like this. Just right size over here and do alterations. Okay. Now this uh, tight, uh, this values. Okay. So this is how you can increase the size of it, but I think some problem is there. We usually response. Okay. We will make uh, it's somewhat enlarged. Okay. What was the variable? Type by type, right? Yeah. See, uh, one more thing I wanted to add. Like right now, I have not selected any visual. When I will go to format, I can change this page. Uh, I mean, do the formatting related to page only. If you want to do formatting related to the chart, you have to choose this chart. You have to click over it. Then only you can do further alteration. Okay. So I'm choosing it. Then only X and Y will come. Okay, otherwise when I will uh, click outside it, nothing will come. Okay, only values will be shown that is respective to this page. Okay, now I'm choosing this one. You can see here like y-axis and x-axis appear. So I should put categorical values in y-axis and numerical values in x-axis or it will take uh, it as numerical value itself. Okay, so I'm putting this type over here and there. Now it is showing me which particular type of restaurants are having the highest, are highest in number. Okay. So right now I will do the formatting. Here I will write size. Okay. It will show me all the size like corresponding to y axis, x axis, everything it will show me. Okay. So now I will increase its size like this. Okay. I can make it bold anything that I want to do. I can do that thing. Okay, this is how we can increase its size. All together. Okay, regarding data label, since it is off, that's why it is not showing everything is blocked when you will make it on. Okay, then you can increase its size. Right? Like this, you can try out everything, like regarding title also. This title, okay. So this is how you can, uh, I mean, uh, change the size of each and everything in one go. Okay, instead of choosing each and everything. Okay, here also you can uh, make similar changes. Like in case of, whether it is in case of grid lines, Okay, or in case of anything else, the horizontal chart and uh, the vertical chart, they are having almost common options. Okay, here also you can do all the color changes that you want. Only 10 minutes are left, uh, so we will try to cover things as soon as possible. Okay, I know the color combination is a bit clumsy. But this is just simply to tell you that how things can be done. Okay, so this is how we can do some alterations. All right, we can put some images also like in plot, background area, browse. Okay, so matter. Like this, we can put some images also in background. Right. So, uh, in case of line chart, see if you want to, ink, uh, I mean, drag it like this, you can do that and you can slide it and see everything. Okay. Right. Now go to format. And here also the same thing, right size. Okay. And increase everything. Okay. Put the data labels on.
Okay, this is how you can do uh, things related to size. Now let us check out other options. Okay. If you want to uh, change the line type, it is solid actually. Okay. If you want dotted type, you can do that. Okay. Whatever kind of style you uh, prefer, you can do that. And stroke width also, you can alter like this. Okay. Regarding colors also, if you don't like this color, you can choose any other color. Okay. And this is regarding spacing. Okay, you can see how spacing is changed. How uh, now it is. Yeah, the spacing between them is, uh, I mean, somewhat it, it is more. I mean, clear right now. Earlier, what happened? They were looking very clumsy. Uh, I mean, they were too much attached to each other, right? When I'm decreasing. When I'm decreasing it, you can see the change. Okay. So now the spacing between them is very less. So now spacing has improved. So this is how you can do alteration in case of line chart. Okay. Regarding pie chart, here these uh, this thing is actually slicers. Okay. So here you can see slices kind of thing is coming. Okay. Legend means this thing. Okay. This is what is called legend. The variable that you have uh, actually placed in legend option. Na? Here you can see in legend book table. So corresponding to whatever variables were there, they will appear in different color. And, uh, and uh, corresponding to this book table, what was the average rating that will be shown in form of values in slices. Okay, so I'm going to this format option in slices. If you want to change the color of this yes and no, uh, that you can do. Okay. Right. So uh, this is regarding uh, this pie chart, okay? If you want to rotate it, that also can be done. This is uh, regarding detail labels. It is already there, labels and everything is there. If you don't want it, you can make it off. Otherwise, keep it on, okay? And if you want to rotate it, you can rotate it to different angles like this, okay? Whichever is suitable for you, right? So this is regarding pie chart. Now moving on to the funnel chart. In funnel chart, uh, I will change some variables so that it will be more easy for you to understand. Like uh, here we have taken online order, right? Cor corresponding to rating. Now instead of online order, if I'm taking the same type, okay? Now you can see highest value is at the top and lowest value is at the bottom. So that is the logic behind it. Again, I will take this online order. Okay, here also you can change the color and all. Same way, simple. Okay, make this color on. Right, change the colors. Yes, green. No, red. That's it. Okay, and data labels are already on. That's why this particular figure is coming. Right, here if you want to change the size, same way. Click uh, right size. Okay, and change everything. Right. This is how you can do. And in this case also, same way. By writing the size, I mean size is already written, right? Yeah. You can alter it. Okay. So, uh, usually people prefer donut chart compared to pie chart. Now onwards, I mean, majority of people are, uh, I mean, somewhat more uh, having more liking to this particular chart. 
So when you're making a dashboard instead of a, a pie chart, you can go with donut chart that would look more beautiful. Okay. So this was regarding location here. Also, you can do a same alteration like labels are not there, right? How much location, how much restaurants are there in a particular location? It is not written. When you will move the cursor, then only you will be able to see that there are 2,484, uh, I mean, uh, restaurants in a particular location, right? So if you want to check the, I mean, if you want to get that number also over here, go to format here also. First of all, you need to select this particular graph, then only you can do that, okay? Otherwise, page will come. So here, a legend is off, okay? Keep it on, okay? Then uh, this legend will come over here, okay? If it is not required, uh, keep it off also because uh, in different colors, name is already given, so no need to for that. And if you want to change the color, go to this color, okay? Go to this color option, whatever color you want to put, you can do that, okay? And in case of data labels, that how many locations, are, uh, I mean, how many restaurants are in a particular location for that, data labels must be kept on, okay? So here you can see 2.48K, it is given, right? 2,484 is actually summarized as 2.48K, okay? Since it is not that much visible, I will, uh, here also I will do some alteration regarding size, okay? It is not coming. Yeah. There is some issue. We will go with values itself. Okay. So you can see how they are more visible right now. Okay. And in case of uh, category labels also, you can do some changes like regarding values so that each and every place is clearly visible. Okay. Now they are more visible. So, and uh, regarding title also, if you want to do some changes, like this is the title, count of location by location. Okay, if you want to write something else in uh, place of it. Wait. Yeah. If you want to increase its size, you can do that thing. Okay. Okay, these are somewhat regarding aspect ratio. Okay. Whatever changes you want, you can do with the help of this format option. Right? And this was regarding char, uh, map that is over. Like uh, different uh, places are shown by different colors. And whichever place is having higher rating, that is actually 